Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. In case you didn't already know, that's the latest and greatest Mercedes GT Coupe. And it's going to go head to head with the latest and greatest Aston Martin Vantage. And Audi's brought out a new version of the R8. They're all about the same price, so if I had that kind of money, it would be a tough choice which one to go for. But I quite like that colour. Anyway, enough about that. As you know, I've been trying to do MGTOW videos looking at how things are going on with the MGTOW viewpoint. And from last week's vast uh, glut of articles, it's, I've found out it's, we're in a famine phase now. A lot of the sites I was looking at uh, used to, in the past, they're all behind a paywall now, so I can't really find that much anymore. But I did find some things which are good news about men. First one is this. As you can see, it's a site called Mom Junction. Now, this site, from what I've been looking through it, is pre predominantly and more exclusively, I should say, aimed at women. But a women's site, as, as you can see in the title, 15 surprising benefits of being a single man. Now... That's something of an odd thing you get on a woman's site. The reason why. Could it be that the MGTOW effect is affecting women's websites and the women are seeing the benefits of a single man and they might have to alter their ways? But anyway, as you can see, 15 benefits of being a single man. Now this was done on the 23rd of January. I might have covered this article before, but it was done earlier this year, so it might be one I've never covered before. So, without further ado, if you go down, whether by choice or circumstances, being single has its own pros and cons. If you're looking to find out the benefits of being a single man, this post is for you on a woman's site. While it is great to have someone to share your life with, being single gives you a sense of independence and the opportunity to discover yourself at a deeper level. You have plenty of time to explore the world and follow your passion. You can also engage in hobbies and activities that make you feel alive. I'm going to try skiing. I restart my skiing journey on Thursday, 29th, the leap year day at the ski factor over in Trafford Park that I've mentioned in the previous video. It says in short you have autonomy, you are accountable to nobody and you have the freedom to try new things. Now that is more or less what the MGTOW philosophy stands for. Men go in their own way. So if you drop down 15 benefits of being a single man. You have time for yourself. You can pursue your hobbies, whatever you want to do. The best thing of being single is you can pursue your interests and hobbies, which can help with your mental clarity. You can devote your time alone to your passions, dreams and goals. Well, my goal is to be able to comfortably ski down a red ski run and maybe an easy black. And you have more savings. Now take notice of that because that will cover in this article. The best thing about being single is you can enjoy financial security. You don't have to spend money expensive dinner dates in the finest dining restaurants. Which means you have more money in your wallet. A better bank account to spend on yourself. And you can imagine everything you could do with those savings if you had an influx of money and no regular dates, i.e. single guys. One of the benefits of being a single man is it can encourage you to be more frugal and financially self-sufficient. Well, that is more or less me. I don't spend much at all. I have a spreadsheet and put all my expenditure and income on it, and in the end of the year, I tot everything up to see where I spent money and where I can save money. And then 
you don't have to worry about your appearance. Also, that is on this. You have fewer responsibilities. While being in a relationship with a great feeling till it goes south, it can also, with certain responsibilities, you have to meet your partner's needs. As Chris Rock said, everything revolves around her. And you can spend more time with your family and friends. You can focus on your fitness. A lot of single guys just go to the gym. I don't need to go to the gym. I do a lot of walking and a brisk two-mile walk. Exercise is the same muscle groups as going to a gym does. Anyway, I don't want to be bulky and like a weightlifter. That's with my build, it, it'll look out of place. You can flirt with anyone, but if you do, a single guy flirting with a woman could be labelled a creep. You don't have to remember important dates. True. You can be yourself. Of course, men go in your own way. The best thing about being single is that you can be yourself without pretending to be someone else. You have the chance to live your life in your terms rather than the terms that are expected of you. You are not required to change your opinion or views on anyone. You are free to express your feelings without the need for validation from others. In other words, be yourself. You can be self-reliant. You don't have to compromise. Relationships can be compli complicated and require a lot of compromises. One of the advantages of being a single man one of the advantages of being a single man is having a com is ha not having to compromise. Being single means you don't have to make compromises like visiting places you don't want to, attending events with people you don't care about. In other words, you can go where you want, when you want. And more importantly for single guys, if they're in a profession or not just a job, you can focus on your career. You can be debt free, which is one of the biggest beneficials of being single. And if you went to trade school, couples can have many different debt from mortgage, student loans to car loans to credit cards. Sometimes partners come with financial baggage. Relationship conflicts can arise when one partner has more debt than the other or is debt free. A lot of these girls in America, coming out of college, they're up to their ears in debt. Being single has its advantages when it comes to debt. It can encourage financial self-sufficiency and can help you save for emergencies. Guys are more used to roughing it and living frugally than women. You can have the food of your choice. The choice, chance for deeper friendships and mature more mature understanding of love. Can a sick man live single forever? You can go to the grave a single man. A single life is a personal choice and many men are successfully living a single life for the rest of their lives. This could be co this could be a, wouldn't be out of place on a MGTOW channel and not just a woman's channel. Despite some disadvantages such as living having too many friends, being less financially orientated and being more sensitive and judgmental, single men can be the happiest men with self-sufficient emotional stability and a strong feel, feeling of self-determination. That's essentially the essence of being a MGTOW. And then how to date... Then we got the woman's slant, how to date a man who has been single for a long time. How can being single help recover from past relationships? What is the best age for a man to be single? There isn't an accepted best age. That could be like MGTOW. There's no set age that you can become a MGTOW. Infographics types of men who may be single. The types of single men, the workaholic, the picky one. The friend zone, the multiple options one, that's Chad. The happy single, that'd be me. And that's it. 
now with the financial security that guys have if they're single if they've got a steady job and the money's getting in the bank account i found this even though rolling stone is a leftish leaning magazine that's in in serious financial trouble the best sites for menswear men's guide to shopping online guys mostly shop online then in a shop this was done on january 30th this year it says men's clothes used to be for sad affair comprising of tiny corners in department stores and a few outrageously expensive bespoke tailors now menswear arguably leads the fashion world affordable startups like fresh clean threads uh, big store names like Nordstrom are putting real effort into their men's collections and designers like George Hamilton and Represent are making bold, adventurous statement pieces worthy of your hard-earned dough. Now, if you take a step back and look at that statement, you'll see that the clothing manufacturers have noticed there's more and more single men in the market and these men have got a lot of money to spend so the clothing manufacturers are acknowledging the fact that the MGTOW effect is affecting the population and there's a market there for single guys that want to dress well and then it goes what are the best online clothing for men and then you drop down Nordstrom Todd Sinder Road. If getting dressed up and feels like a tug of war between fashion and function, check out Roan. The bland's flagship pieces like these commuter pants are designed to be functional enough to walk nine holes in a golf course. A guy with plenty of time who can play golf if he's into that, and pulled together for an, for the office and day night. Alex Mill. Uh. V U Ori Filson Book Mason, I've never heard of these J Crew Saks Fifth Avenue Another department store I'd like to check in Saks Fifth Avenue have a massive selection most slept on sale selection department store uh far fetch Amazon who wouldn't shop there represent uh, Mr. Porter fresh clean treads on and on and on and on and on now all these brands they've all seen as I said the guys have got plenty of money now because they're single and they're no ties so they want their out and share it all boils down to this the surprising benefits of being a single man I myself used to shop at Marks and Spencer's for clothes but I've started to shop around on the internet for different clothes because I need to go through my wardrobe and chuck out all the old stuff which is I've had for a long while and get some new clothes for myself because I'm single a free agent and uh, I'm a got no one to leave the money to that I've saved up over my working life so I'm going to spend it on me so you could say I'm into this category and I'm also in the line for this I'm sorry it's a bit iffy this week but as I said I went from being a feast to a famine for articles and a lot of these articles are behind paywalls now I'm not wasting money on subscribing to a site I might only visit once or twice. I think I'm about 10-15 minutes now, so I'll leave it at that. You know the routine, people. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. I've found something about the retail sector for next week, but for now, that's it for this one. Bye-bye.